everybody, welcome back to today's video. Hopefully you are having a great whatever day of the week this is. In this video, we will be checking out how you can modify your server.properties file to do something. Uh, this is a question I received in the comments section in a few videos ago. And how do you modify? What do the modifications do when you change things in your server.property file? Now, if you don't know, server.properties is a file which allows you to configure things about your Minecraft server, which automatically comes when you start up Spigot. If you want to learn how to start a Spigot server, please go to our Creating a Spigot Server series. The link to the playlist will show up in the cards on the top right hand of your screen right now. So let's just get straight into it where you're going to check out from the top and go all the way to bottom and I'm going to tell you exactly what you want and what all these settings mean. The first thing is spawn protection. By default, this is normally set to 16. This means that when within 16 blocks of the where the player spawns in and for that amount of time, so let's say 16 seconds or something, they will have protection. They will not be killed. They can't be killed. All of that. So what you want to do is you want to, if you have like a PVP server, make sure to turn this to zero because that will affect that. Generator settings. You don't have to put anything here. This is just how you, the generation settings for the world. If you don't know what you're doing, don't mess with it. Force game mode. So do you want to force uh, game mode on join or anything? Just keep that false if you don't want people to have creative and stuff on join. Would you like to allow the nether? Yes or no? Pretty straightforward and simple. This is a game mode for the force game mode setting. Game mode zero survival. So do you want to force survival on every single join? No, because some players may be in creative. If you want them to be forced to game mode zero every time they join, turn this to true. Broadcast console to ops. Do you want like reload messages and stuff to be in game to op players? If you want it, sure. That's by default. Off, no big deal. This, just ignore. Don't really need it unless you're running a big network. If you're running a big network, you probably won't be watching this video, so we're going to ignore that. Uh, player idle timeout, normally set to zero. This means that a player will never be kicked from the game for being AFK. You can add this if you, they, if you want them to be kicked for AFK. Difficulty can be one, zero, two, or three. Difficulty 1 is easy, 2 medium, 3 hard, and 0 peaceful. This just shows you default Minecraft. You can also change all these settings, or well, most of them, with slash um, game rule. Something cool to know. Spawn monsters, straightforward. Do you want monsters to spawn? OP permission level, you don't have to mess with this. Resource packs, um, pretty much what this means is do you want to like force a resource pack on someone? Um, you don't have to worry about this one. If you want to learn how to put a resource pack in your server, I'll make a separate tutorial on that. So make sure to go to the description. Do you want to announce player achievements? Yes or no. PVP, should it be enabled? Yes or no. Snooper, should it be enabled? Yes or no. What type of level type is it? Is it the default world? Is it the nether? Is it the end? Should it be hardcore mode? You die, the world gets deleted. Should it be enabled command blocks? True or false? I would recommend keeping this false if you don't want your server being griefed after like two days. Max players. Network. This is like how many, um, how much you can hold and everything. Resource pack. Again, I'll make a separate tutorial on that. The max world size. Your server port. The server port is um, what your server runs on. If you're running Bungie Cord, I would recommend going to check out our Bungie Cord tutorial on how to set this up. Debug. Should be false unless you have a host or somebody wanting it to be true. The server IP will be blank unless your host presets it for you. It can normally would be 0 0.000, 0, 0, 0, 0.0.0 um, or one of those, but if it's on local host, there won't be anything. You don't have to worry about it. Should NPCs be spawned? Yes or no? Villagers, all those guys. Allow flight. Default false. I would keep this false if you don't want hackers on your server. Level name. Default level name. This could be like lobby, world, whatever it spawns. By default, it's world. I don't recommend changing it because a lot of play, a lot of plugins use the default level name, world. Your view distance. What should be the view distance in the server? Your server ID. This is just the ID you get to sit for your server. Good for Bungie Cord. Set it to like Skyblock or something. Resource pack. Again, if you want to learn how to set up your resource pack, I'll leave a second tutorial in the description. Spawn animals. Straightforward. Do you want animals to spawn on your server? Whitelist. Do you want whitelist enabled? This enables like the slack whitelist commands and everything. Generate structures. Could villages, ends, all those things be um, created? Sure. That sounds fun. Online mode. This is whether your server is running for cracked Minecraft or for premium Minecraft. I would recommend keeping this to on if it's just one server. If it's Bungie Cord, you have to turn this to false. Max build height, 256 blocks. Don't know why anybody would want to go over that. Level seed. If you have a custom seed for your world, paste it here. Uh, prevent proxy connections. False. Um, 
why not? Why why would you want to block Bungie Cord from connecting? I said the other day, what it displays on your server list. And you don't need this last one unless you're a network. So it's pretty nice and easy and pretty easy to set up and everything. So this is what they do. This is the settings on them. I know I may be talking a little fast in this video. I'm trying to get like a week recorded of videos. So if you want more clarification on any of these do, leave a comment down below and I will reply to your comment with more detail than I said in the video. This is just a quick run through of the server.properties file. Thank you so much for watching today's video, everybody. My name is Noodles. I'll see you tomorrow at 6 a.m. Goodbye.